It is back to school season. Whether we like it or not, it comes around every year. You know what that means. Deadlines, projects, homework, exams, parent-teacher conferences. In the 2020-2021 academic year, statistics show that over 56.4 million students will attend elementary, middle, and high school in the United States. Even though college enrollment is about 6% lower this fall, a staggering 19.7 million will attend college and university in fall 2020. The new normal for the world of academics is undoubtedly distance learning. The pandemic has forced many students to transition to online learning as physical school buildings may be critical sites where the pandemic can spread. This presents critical challenges for students in many ways, including online assignments. If your school started early, your deadlines might be just around the corner. I can bet that these assignments include an online presentation. But somehow, the presentation is just not seeming to complete itself, is it? What are you going to do? The ultimate way to go is to find an appropriate homework presentation template from an online presentation tool like Dexipus. It makes things much simpler. With a template already there, all you need to do is to place your content. Let's walk you through an example to see what a homework deck needs. What should your presentation template look like? What should you include in your homework presentation? We will walk you through each slide that you should have in the template. First off, an introductory slide. This slide is your regular first slide that introduces the presenter names, a title, and an image or GIF that captures the audience's attention. Introducing the name of your class and professor may also be necessary. Always check the rubric for that. Second, a sample question slide. Starting with a question will support more audience engagement. This way, you can capture your audience from the beginning and raise their investment to your con content. Third, an about slide. Here's where you introduce what you will be talking about. The fourth slide is a general introduction and summary slide. This is where you will place your initial remarks, expectations, and so on. The fifth, key term slide. Listing out the key terms on the topic domain is helpful to prevent any confusions that may occur in the content of the upcoming slides. This is where you can also list the key points that you will be talking about and introduce them through key terms. Sixth, a quote. Quotes can help create room for brainstorming and influence novel ideas for your presentation. They can also introduce a new direction for your presentation. You can also use quotes as something that will reinstate your main message and rid it from any distraction it may have caused. Seven, different category slide. This is where you can create a table with bullets to explain or differentiate the categories or the subtitles of your general topic. Seeing the different categories separated may help the audience better understand the outline of your presentation. Eight, a timeline slide. This helps set the historical background if a certain history needs to be explained in chronological order. Nine, a visual slide. Place this in the middle of your presentation as a breather for your audience. The attention span of an individual may differ, but is shorter than you think. A breather may help refresh their minds and be sharper to listen to the rest of your presentation. Visuals are a necessity in other slides as well. 10. Conclusion slide. Talk about the main idea, sum up your points, and highlight your key takeaways. The conclusion slide is critical for you to reinstate your main message. Don't leave your audience wondering what you were talking about throughout the entire presentation. 11. Any question slide. Many teachers will expect that you end your presentation with a question. Ending on a question can help your audience remember your presentation, as they have to ask themselves about a certain aspect of your content. Coming up with an answer will reinforce their understanding. Taking questions will allow you to highlight your main message again. Some classes will also ask that you include a bibliography at the end of your presentation. Again, you must have a good understanding of your homework rubric so that you don't miss any points. When you're looking at presentation templates for your next homework presentation, Make sure the sample deck includes these presentation slides. For a good homework deck, check out Dectipus now.